So this one gives, as I mentioned, 20 to 60 times, which is ideal for for most uses really. It's a, a screw-in eyepiece. As of yet, there's no dedicated wide angle eyepiece. Um, I say as of yet, uh, there may be in the future. So it's a nice, easy to use, smooth control there for the zoom. And it's also comes with two focus wheels, main one and the finer adjustment. And talking of focus, it, it goes down to around about five meters and I, I tested and that, that's co about correct. Eye relief is quoted as 20 millimeters, but with my spectacles, I could only just get the full field of view. And strangely, at mid magnification, the eye relief seemed to be reduced compared to 20 and 60 times, but everybody's glasses are, are different. So by all means, you know, try one of these yourself. And I found even when I wore my glasses, when I didn't wear my glasses, sorry, I, I, I twisted the eye cup out about halfway. And for me, that was the, uh, just about the correct distance for me. And, and also as with a lot of, uh, spotting scopes, you, you'll notice the apparent field of view is it's narrowest at low magnification and widens out at, at, at full mag magnification. It comes with a pull-out sunshade, which which uh, is also very good for keeping dust off in blustery conditions. And it comes with a very substantial stay-on case, uh, soft nylon. Nitrogen gas filled, fully multi-coated optics, ED glass, BAK4 prisms and dielectric coated. Um, it's probably more suitable, this, this scope, than for some, than the uh, larger 85 millimeter version and it's around about 300 grams less so just under one and a half kilograms so if you're doing a lot of walking around it walking around it's it's more than adequate when i was um getting onto the more important subject when i had, had looked through the eyepiece it's it's very similar to the endurance ed that i've, I've also reviewed uh, the 50 millimeter version when to a casual look and there's pretty much no chromatic aberration at all. It just takes a keen eye to spot it right on the edge of view or if you go into full power. But that, that, that was on... But that, that, that was uh, just, just a, a, a quick look. But a seasoned observer may notice a little bit of chromatic aberration, but it's very, very minimal. And uh, with uh, most uh, observations, if it's not a high contrast subject, you're you're not going to notice it at all. So it's very very impressive, especially at the lower magnifications. The 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 results you get, the image is absolutely amazing for such a small objective lens of only 68 millimeters. And uh, talking of which, I um, had a look in a, a very low light uh, area, and what I found was the low light performance at lowest magnification was absolutely exceptional considering it's just well it's a less than a 70, uh, 70 millimeter lens when I got down to about 30 when I got beyond about 30 magnification the low light performance did did degrade a little bit but you're going to expect that because the exit pupil is going from around about 3.4 down to just 1.1 millimeters and and so yeah you will lose your, your, your low light performance compared to uh, yeah, above 30, 40, 50 magnification compared to lower down. But overall, it's a very, very impressive scope. And uh, one thing to notice, um, it comes with a rotational collar here. So you can slacken that off and move the scope around. Now, trying to think of a situation where that would come in handy, I can only think that if you're looking over a cliff, let's, let's say you're up at Flamborough Head try, trying to spot the albatross and trying to get your eye up here, you, you know, you're going to need to be six foot tall. So what you do is if you're pointing down like that, rotate it and then how easy is that then to look through at, a, at an angle down, down uh, the cliffs or, or, where, or wherever you are, maybe off the top of the building. So, 
put it back to the starting position. So it's very, very solid uh, spotting scope this. It's going to last you a lifetime and, and, and that, that is uh, why you do get lifetime warranties. It, uh, with the connection to the tripod there are a forwards and backwards hole so in case your scope is front or back heavy you, you can adjust the weight distribution but you can also get the Hawk balance plate as well that will, will aid that. Uh, as with uh, most products in our videos you can support our channel by purchasing on the link below and that's or even better still pop along uh, to see me or have a, a look through one of these if they're in stock at our optics weekends. So as always thank you very much for watching. Please check out the link in the description below.